Hi, welcome to our reading for September 2018. Now, remember it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs and symbols ring for you and follow those thoughts, those feelings, those memories that you get to bring clarity to what you're wondering. We are all psychic. We are all spiritual. We are all children of God, but we're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you want a more in-depth look at your month, check out your sun, moon, and rising sign videos. And if you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. I hope you enjoy the reading and I'll see you in a moment. Welcome to our reading for Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in September, 2018. Now the random shuffle Pandora song that came through for Leo was I believe in a thing called love by the darkness. I'll find that song and put it below for you guys. Now let's begin the reading. We're going to start with an animal whisper card. Let's see what God, source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We'll start with one card. Clarity on energies coming through in September. For Leo. And I like this card. You get the camel. So the first thing I see, even before the message, is the colors. So maybe yellow, orange, it makes me think of confidence and creativity. Maybe that's key this month. But the message is know that you are worthy of love. You deserve it all. You deserve to have the best. Um, I'm getting you can take your time with something, make, maybe making a decision or getting back to somebody. I hear negotiations. So um, maybe you're being offered a position or doing something where there's room for negotiation, but you have to have a discussion. You have to think about what you actually want. You have to be honest with yourself. What do you need? I feel like you definitely deserve something coming in. Maybe you were pushing something away or feeling like you didn't deserve something, but you do. If somebody's trying to give you something, open your arms and receive, unless it feels draining or, you know, like it's, uh, making your energy stagnant. Um, if it feels right, if it feels good, then go for it. But take your time. I feel like with the camel, you have all the resources you actually need already around you, at least to get started. Um, maybe you're going to make different contacts later or different things will come into play that you need later, different tools, but you'll figure it out then. Start with now. Um, I feel like preparation is key. Uh, you know, this makes me think of painting a house and doing all the preparation work first so something is professional and pristine. So maybe making plans, blueprints, uh, maybe an outline, maybe you're going on a vacation, maybe you usually do something spur of the moment, but maybe you can make some key points or key plans or key things that you want to get done. Um, when I think of the camel, I think of an animal drinking a lot of water and storing something up for that long journey ahead. But you can make it. Um, bring what you need. Leave the baggage behind. Leave anything extra that you don't need that's weighing you down behind and take what you need. On that journey, maybe you have a long journey ahead. Maybe you're just starting a project and it's going to take a while, but that's okay day by day. You know, experience by experience. Start there. Don't get ahead of yourself. So know that you are worthy of love. You're worthy 
Leo, you're so amazing. You guys are amazing. Um, I feel like you have a beautiful, natural confidence. Like, you really don't have to work so hard for amazing things to come to you. If you choose to work hard and go after something, Leo, you totally get it. But I feel like in this instance, you don't have to push something so hard. This is a natural feeling. You know, it's a... Um, I'm getting maybe like a natural healing that's going on even. Um, it takes less effort to do something. So whether that's a relationship, a situation, a new job, I feel like you're getting that position or that opportunity or that conversation because uh, you and that person or you and that situation are effortless together. Um, you are what's special about a situation. So let's get clarity on the camel for Leo. We're going to move along to something new. These are affirmation cards. So let's get an affirmation card for Leo for the month of September. Clarity on the camel. I'm getting that you were put, I'm getting like a push energy. Like you were pushing something away, blocking something from coming in. Um, saying no when you really want to say yes, um, hesitating on something or putting up a wall somewhere. So maybe you need to break down a wall or that's somebody else putting up a wall and you're the one slowly breaking something down, getting somebody else to open up. I hope that made sense for some of you. All right, let's get clarity on the camel. Affirmation card for Leo. Oh, Leo, I pulled two. So these are both for you. Patience, this is a bonus card. So congratulations, you've been granted more patience. So that's taking your time. You may start using it right away or much, much later. Waiting a long time is the sort of option now afforded to you by greater patience. Can you believe it? Look at this, you're still reading and haven't gotten annoyed yet. Imagine how this patience will transform your life. Imagine how easy it will be to go to the post office. <laughs> These cards are cute. So have patience with someone else, with yourself, getting through a situation. You'll figure it out. The answer will come through. The connection will happen. Just have patience. Everything happens in its own time. So I feel like t divine timing is key. And in the meantime, do what you can do. You know, if you're stuck in traffic, enjoy the ride. If you keep getting stuck in traffic, I want to say leave a little bit earlier and give yourself that pocket of time so you're not always late. So authenticity. Authenticity, this is cute. It's a typewriter. So maybe you write or it's about speaking up. Authenticity is the name of the game. Whatever comes up, I will feel it. Whatever needs to be said, I will say it. Whoever doesn't get it, doesn't have to get it, but at least they know it because you said it. And that's way better than leaving a passive aggressive note about it. So when you want to say yes, say yes. You know, when you want to say no, say no. If you need to sleep on something, be honest. Say, I'm not really sure I'm going to sleep on it and I'll get back to you. You know, at least somebody knows where you're coming from. I feel like not making an answer is kind of making an answer and leaving somebody else in the fog. So, cool. You got two of those. So let's move along and um, get a Vice Versa Tarot card for Leo. Clarity on authenticity, being uh, true to yourself, speaking your truth, walking your walk, talking your talk, asking yourself and others some good, solid, I hear hearty, <laughs> hearty questions. So, all right, let's get clarity for Leo, authenticity, patience, and the camel. And Oh, I love that this came up for you. Oh, so this just brings me back to this. Your light is shining through in August. Be yourself. 
Leo. Be yourself, Leo. You have this beautiful, oh, I'm going to say lion or lioness energy coming through. It's a confidence. It's a secure stable, solid, strong, badass energy, but you don't have to push it. With the lion, they're just king or queen of the jungle. They don't have to make that known or push that um, idea out there. Others just feel it. So I feel like the key, when the strength card comes up, this is major arcana number eight. Maybe eight is important for you. The key is gentleness, the gentle approach, the whisper. You know, the whisper gets the entire audience to hush, not the yell. Then you're just one of the crowd. So do something a little different. Have a gentle approach to somebody or a situation or with yourself. And know your own strengths. Recognize your talents, Leo. Recognize what you're good at. Um, what is your thing? You know, what is your specialty? Um... I hear mimic. So maybe others um, like copy you or mimic you or um, they sort of look up to you. I feel like if they do something just like you, in, they'll learn to do it how their own way eventually. So I'm getting like, don't be annoyed by somebody doing like mimicking, mimicking you. Maybe they dress like you or talk like you. Just see it as a form of flattery. If somebody feels like they're a big monster or a devil or a scary situation, I feel like you're the one that can handle that scary situation. And in the end, it's really not that scary. You know, it just kind of looks scary on the surface or somebody was putting on a bit of a front, you know, because maybe you they feel how strong you are. Maybe you're a boss or something like that. And, you know, someone just kind of had their teeth out, but I feel like you're the one to, <laughs> what to say, pet that scary monster and make a calm situation. So you have this beautiful woman here. It's like the Empress just sitting down in the field of wheat, which is abundance. Again, a golden energy, maybe a harvest time with this lion, all calm, even though this crazy looking devil is coming through. So no matter what comes to you, you can handle it. You can, um, I want to say tame that situation, but it's done with love. I want to say with grace, maybe, um, be grateful, have grace in a situation, have patience. There has to be a trust going on here for this woman to go and stick her hands in the lion's mouth. That may not happen on the first day. It might take 30 days. It might take yeah, I want to say three months. Maybe three months is important. It might take years, but eventually this trust, this bond will happen. So I want to say trust yourself first, Leo. Know your own strengths. You know, be true to yourself. Be true to someone else. And I feel like walls will come down. Scary situations will suddenly not feel so scary anymore once you get maybe used to something. So Leo, you're coming through strong, being yourself, being your bold, beautiful, strong, confident, sexy self. It starts there. So let's get another card from the Angel Tarot for Leo. Hello. Vinny is saying hi to you guys. Let's get Clarity on, Major Arcana, eight. When I see the eight, I also always think of the infinity, which is always moving, always, um, I want to say turning, moving, spinning. That's weird. I just thought of the song, really weird one, Spinning by Meryl Bainbridge. I'll find it and I'll put it below. Maybe there's something in that song. But I think of something coming up and down. Sometimes you're underneath something. You don't understand something. You are in the dark, but eventually you breach the surface and you're on top. And the only thing that's consistent is that things are always going to change. So adapt to those changes. It's also sunny in both of these cards. So I want to say something that happens in the daytime, get out of the house, um, do a daytime activity, or there's an opportunity coming to you that you can handle. All right, clarity for Leo. on the camel, strength, authenticity, and patience. 
and okay we have the nine of michael coming through so the nine of michael usually means you're worried about something um something is going on in your head or you're thinking about something you're so overwhelmed with something that you're actually not sleeping right at night it's keeping you up it could just be lack of sleep or too much sleep so you're groggy in the morning so this may just mean go to bed earlier or get up a half an hour earlier and do some yoga some stretching a walk around your block whatever you have to do so you feel like you're not rushed if this is you worried about a situation, the best thing you can do is let go and let God. To take all of that worry and all of that, I want to say, negative energy going on and on, going in circles around and around and around off of that situation and let that situation heal. Come back to your center. You know, maybe just take a hot bath, pray, ask for an answer that's personal for you to come through and then let it go. Sometimes a big no comes through, Leo, because that thing is not good for us. And God and the universe and our angels have something better. Sometimes we have to go through a shitty ass experience because that's where our soul grows. That's where we learn. We're human. Some days can be amazing. Some months and years can be amazing. And then sometimes they're just shit. You know, sometimes it's just a bad hour. You know, I'm getting that waiting in line at the bank or the, the post office or stuck in traffic or something like that that you can't really help. You can't push that situation. You just have to ease into it. But if this is something bigger, worried about somebody else, this could also be, Leo, somebody else. You know, a little too wrapped up in a situation, maybe too involved with some drama or worried about what everyone else is thinking. And maybe you can help them understand by your strength that it's... It's none of it's none of their business what everyone else thinks you can't change what somebody else thinks but you can be authentic to your, yourself and lead by example so the good thing with the nine of Michael is it's almost over you know better times are coming through um, yeah, Vinny's funny um, when I look at this card in particular I see the owl so I think of silent things silent flight wisdom and things uh, very good hearing. So I want to say, open your ears and listen, maybe hear somebody else out. Maybe somebody's ready to hear you out, but I want to say like in between the lines, in the details, something like that, you know, listen, but then also listen to your own inner guidance, your connection to God. So your worry is unnecessary. Focus on your thought, focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. It's okay to see what didn't work, to see what's not working, you know, what didn't happen the way you wanted it to. But don't keep your focus on that and keep your energy and your visualization and your manifestation energy, your ability to make things happen on that. Use that focus, recognize it, thank it, and then say, now I know what to change. Now I know what boundaries I have. Now I know what's not good for me. So I'm going to go in a different direction. You know, start there. Choose to change your focus, change your filter. This could be just something that happened way in the past, Leo, you know, like childhood past. And you're still dragging something along or still almost like going through it in your head like you're stuck there again. And it's up to you to now not look at that situation the same way to make a change for you today so you have something different in your future. So focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Little bug here. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Release those feelings to God. You know, it doesn't help you to carry on uh, feelings of I'm getting remorse or regret or um, being hard on yourself. We all mess up, Leo. We all mess up. You know, we all get into situations we wish didn't happen. So forgive. You can't always forget, but you can forgive and make a change. You can't change somebody else, but you can forgive them. And that at least it releases your energy on that situation and that person. And it actually releases your connection and your cords to them and that weird energy that was going on when you, you know, keep blaming something, you cut that cord yourself and you help heal them. You know, it's 
spiritually, they can also feel like a lift in their energy. And you give somebody else a chance to heal. It might not happen today. It might be down the road, you know, but just bring your center back to you. All right, Leo. So have patience with someone else. Have patience with yourself. Have, you know, exude this strength that you are. You can handle a situation even if it's weird. You have the resources you need. You are worthy of love. You know, you're worthy. You're worthy of so much. Leo, you guys are so amazing. Um, so let's get one more card. Let's get clarity on strength, patience, nine of Michael, authenticity, and the camel. I keep seeing that pushing thing. So I feel like part... For some of you, you actually are pushing something good away. And for others, you actually need to push or cut something away that's not good for you. And you're not doing it and it keeps coming back and keeps coming back and keeps draining you. So even if it's something you can't completely cut out, you can walk away. Even if it's temporarily, you know, to find your own space, um, your own center. And then, you know, step back into the situation when you're ready. Let's get one more card for Leo. And far away places. Get ready for new horizons. There's a new chapter coming through. I feel like all of that worry in the end, you were worried about nothing, Leo. For a lot of you. You know, maybe your worry had um, ties to the past, but as far as the future goes, things are going to change. Get ready for new horizons. Maybe you're taking a journey, getting out of town, doing something a different way, having a new chapter come through. Let's see, faraway places. Benny, you're so funny today. Get ready for new horizons. Stop playing it safe. Get ready for new horizons and a change in your life. A journey is coming. It may be to foreign lands or faraway places, or it may be an inner shift that changes your destiny. It's all beneficial. Sometimes we can feel wobbled when we're not in normal surroundings. However, you are safe and protected. Um, good fortune ensures. So part of the glory of travel is stepping out of old habits, routines, and the repetitiveness of everyday life. It can feel daunting, yet in no small way your life is a spiritual voyage. Change is coming. Things are not as they seem. I just thought of uh, a change is going to come, but um, the Leela James version. I'll find that and put it below. There are no wrong... I think she has a version. Um, pretty sure. I'll find it, put it below. There are no wrong turns. Every adventure and misadventure is part of the course. You are on a pilgrimage of the soul. Keep your metaphysical bag packed. Some unexpected experiences are ahead. Be ready for anything. The joy of travel is that you can begin to experience the everyday as if you are seeing it for the first time. Nothing should be taken for granted. So I hope this reading was helpful for you, Leo. I love you so much. You are gorgeous. You are beautiful. I hope you have a beautiful September and I'll see you soon. Bye.